Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. Today I am going to talk about advantages and disadvantages of oil cool piston and after that I will talk about the water cool piston advantages and disadvantages. Okay. So let's begin the video, but before beginning the video, I want to tell you that this is the part 3 of uh, piston cooling and before that i have explained you about the oil cool piston and the water cool piston please also watch so that you can understand better so let's start the video the what are the advantages of the oil cool piston basically oil cooling come because of the contamination was the main problem mainly what of what happened that during the maintenance the contamination of water with the oil though how much precaution was taken but there was a mixture of water contamination used to take place at some point of time by some amount so to eliminate that the whole thing oil cool piston concept has eliminated the contamination problem the second thing is that with the oil cool piston the as the cooling medium is oil so the whole system can be made much more simpler and we don't need separate arrangement as required in water cool piston so the main lube oil pump is used for providing oil for cooling piston and a simple lube oil system with a better control is formed by oil as a cooling medium okay now the third problem was cavitation Mainly in water cool piston, the problem of cavitation occur very much. Okay, if the temperature go little bit high, or is there if there is any air entrap, in that case the cavitation or hammering occur, which is been el eliminated by the presence of oil. And fourth thing, the internal stress within the piston is less in the oil cool piston than in the water cool. Okay. Now let's see what are the disadvantages of the oil cool piston. So, as you know, as the oil is even used as a water cool as a cooling medium, therefore the pump we have to install is much bigger. So as now piston cooling is also a part of lube oil system, therefore large power is required for pumping the oil. Means the pump capacity needs to be increased and for that reason the power requirement for the blue ball system is increased and hence the power generation is also need to be increased okay the quantity of oil is need to be increased as to prevent oxidation means what happened mainly that as the oil which is been used here as you can see here the oil which is going for cooling purpose mainly it's coming back and after that it has been stored in a sump now this oil have a tendency to get oxidized and to form a layer on the lower surface of the inner surface of the piston crown which reduces the heat transfer rate this layer this lacquer form this is called lacquer formation this mainly occur because of the oxidation to prevent the oxidation of the oil the oil need to be cooled very quickly so for that reason what we have done we have increased the lube oil quantity the lube oil quantity is increased that required to cope up with the cooling of piston to prevent oxidation okay for that reason the oil cooling is been the oil cooling amount the amount of the amount required for oil cooling suppose means uh, the whole piston can be cooled by the suppose uh, thousand liter of oil but we are using five thousand so that the oxidation problem can be eliminated because it is a continuous process and if continually the oil is circulated that time it will heat up slowly slowly to cope up with that heat generation though the cooling system is provided to cope up with this heat generation the oil quantity has been increased same way lube oil pump is to be done for a longer period of time for cooling the oil to prevent lacquer formation on the underside of the piston due to oxidation of oil now one more thing that suppose the engine has been stopped after the engine is stopped in earlier water cool piston what we used to do we 
set the lube oil pump after a suppose period of uh, one hour but in oil cool piston if we want to set the lube oil pump at that time we need to we can do it after a period of three to four hour because that three to four hour period is given so that the oil the whole thing the oil is completely circulated and completely cooled to down to a temperature okay around 30 to 34 degree why suppose the pump is stopped after one hour at that time as this surface western crown surface is very hot it takes time to cool so the oil which is sticking on the surface of the piston crown is going to get oxidized and it will now in next time when the pump is started the rate of heat transfer will decrease as already a layer of lacquer a layer of oxidation of oil has formed which is hindering the heat transfer to prevent this oxidation of oil and sticking onto the surface of the piston crown the oil is circulated for a longer period of time okay for that reason the piston lube pump need to be run for a longer period of time okay now let's see the water cool piston the water cool piston the advantage of using water cool piston was specific heat capacity what is specific heat capacity specific heat capacity means how quickly a substance or medium can absorb a heat okay so water having a higher specific heat capacity can remove large amount of heat with compared to the lube oil means suppose same amount of lube oil is taken and same amount of water is taken the amount of heat removed by the water will be much more higher compared to the lube oil for that reason the water was preferred as a cooling medium first choice second was that it was cheaply and easily available means a water can be available very easily okay for that reason it had a thing but the problem occurred first was the separate cooling system the first most problem was the whole system need to be separate means separate pump separate cooling water tank separate means pipelines arrangement everything was need to be separated because as there is the two medium one is the oil which is for lubrication and second was the water for cooling so separate system was to be made and therefore there was increase in the constructional cost okay and all that uh, complica complication the system was very complex many more disadvantage was there for that reason water cool was avoided the second most problem was contamination as I have told you in oil cooled that though how much attention and how much precaution we should take some amount of contamination always occurred okay during the maintenance interval period of time okay so to eliminate the risk of contamination we have switched to oil as a cooling medium but also the problem occurs means when the what if the water used consists of high salt at that time also uh, means a surface of uh, salt accumulation occur on the inner surface of piston crown for that reason also hindrance of heat transfer occur to prevent that we are using distilled water as a cooling medium instead means the hardness of salt hence required to use distilled water means to prevent the accumulation of the salt on the inner medium we are using distilled water which increases the cost okay and a separate drain tank is required to collect water if any maintenance work to need, need to be carried out okay as i have told you means as suppose the piston is need to be any maintenance work need to be carried out in that case the whole thing need to be drained the whole pipeline and the whole water accumulated here need to be drained so some amount of uh, contamination used to be there with water so a separate drain tank was made a separate drain tank was made where the whole this cooling medium water is collected and after that it is treated and discharged overboard through OWS okay so a separate tank arrangement is need to be made for collection of water so these are the advantages and disadvantages of the water and the oil cool piston i hope you understand please do share the video and please like it image credit goes to marine